So Tom, as teachers, we're often torn about when a student does not do well on an assessment, whether we should offer them a second chance. Yeah, that's always a tough conversation. We talk about that in chapter six of the book, this whole notion of reassessment, of second chance. And oftentimes I'll hear, well, you know, that's not the way it is in the real world. Look, we all know the real world littered with all kinds of second chance. They're often based on the notion that you show some improvement, some growth. You've done some new learning between your first demonstration of evidence or lack of evidence and your second chance opportunity. There'll be lots of people, for example, who didn't get their driver's license the first time. They get to go back, practice, do some more learning, and then they get their license. Nobody ever says, hey, it's not fair. We don't try to come up with some mathematical formulation that denies you a full driver's license. We don't say, hey, you can only drive on Monday to Friday, no weekend driving. Second chance really is about a kid's opportunity to demonstrate to the teacher they have indeed learned the desired outcomes. Yeah, and nothing is more real world than getting that driver's license. You got it. <laughs>